Hello, it's Martin from Love You Long Time. Let me formally introduce Amber. Hi guys. She's the ish. Okay, now today is my longly awaited 2022 long care slash landscaping set up video. Let's go. I've been waiting a month to record this. I've just been waiting for a couple, but she's almost falling back here on a bag of moats. I'm gonna be careful now, man. Need them, need them ankles and tip top shape. <laughs> but, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and flip the camera and I'm gonna show y'all my trailer setup and what we're using the most for this year and new equipment. Big upgrades, big, big upgrades. You want to point the camera that way. That's the trailer from last year. That's a 5x8 utility trailer. It was helpful that year. But now we upgraded to a 6x12 foot. The big boys. It's like a little walk. All right, so this gate is really heavy. I'm not going to lie. That gate is really light. It was such a change. Like, over time, it definitely hurts the back a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. With these hardwood floors, man, get a little touch of the hardwood floor. I got hardwood floors now, my child. That's fine. That's fine. So clutch with most stone jobs. I mean, even brush. It's clutch for everything. Fine. As y'all can see, I got racks. Now, the used racks. I'm gonna paint this blue. Keep that one green should be the colors of the, you know, colors of the company. But to start it off, I'll get it up top. 2021 S120, John Deere, Rod more. I'm about to get a commercial zero turn. I just need like another month. I just need like another month. I've been breaking the pockets a little bit, but we've been busy. I haven't been doing that many videos or jobs or modes just because Got a bunch of new customers, and I'm just not comfortable doing that yet. So, I got 169 hours on this, and I got this 11 months ago, so not even really I like it because I read it from a 10 year old pilot, Poland, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, we come down here to the push. We come down here. So, this is just like a uh, you can call this like a hoopy or like a beater, but yeah, we only use that like two modes, three modes actually, one backyard and like one little sidewalk strip. So I don't need nothing fancy. I don't need, you know, you know, I'll get that one day. But typically we don't bag, but say we're picking up sticks, debris, we'll take this off along with this little basket and just put it in there. But yeah, that's it. Hopefully you'll see the bears skag or bite on this trailer in a month. month. Alright, let's go to the stream tremor. Come on, come on, come on now. Get a little get a little butt view. <laughs> they look really I got nice. This last year. She was a steel F S91 R. I've had it for a year now and I'm greatly satisfied with it. I recommend it. This, the still KM94R, this is the combi system. I just got the straight side. We need a head on that right now. And my opinions on it, I need to do a whole video, but if you're gonna use it as a dedicated weed eater, I probably wouldn't do it. I mean, maybe get like a, a bigger model of the engine. But that's just my opinion. I got a couple of attachments for us, so y'all have to. But I'm a, my two time stream trimmer. Back right for now, we drilled some holes in her and we just bolted it in. My buddy from Majestic Views, it's another landscaping company. It's helped me out a lot. This is only my, some of y'all know, this is only my second year. So I've been in business a year and four months. Okay. So I just put this rack on like two weeks ago. I just put this on like two weeks ago. This BR600. I said, Hana. This is my baby. Y'all remember last year I was taking the steel BR430, I believe. 
Yeah, 430. I was taking that for mowing just because it's just grass clipping, so we don't need nothing big. But I need to get the small bar to be able to transport that in the rack. So for now, the 600 comes with us every day. I did have two of these racks, but I didn't want to put nothing on the other side. I didn't want to congest this area up because we do a bunch of moats and stone, you know, stuff like that. And unloading is kind of weird. It's still kind of hard with these racks. I'm not going to lie. I'm still trying to get that down. But in the end, in due time, I'll get it down. I want to get some, you know, I want to get some little walls. Not high walls, but just a little small. Just got back from the recently a rake i usually try to take a rake or like a just in case we don't ever know you know bunch of bungees air pump weed color spray bottle got a 2.5 gallon this is the mixed fuel i really need to get a bigger one Two down for the gas. How does that work? I know, I know. I need to, I need to do. Oh, them things like thirty something dollars a, <laughs> a thing. But it's alright. I'm gonna get a five gallon for both. Of them. You know, I got a funnel back there. Bo Jangles cup, water bottle, a couple tweezers. And this is why you always walk the yards. I don't understand why people just go straight in there like y'all. You know, I guess y'all might have blades and stuff like that, but nah. Dude, this was in the yard, bro. This would wreck your blades for real. I don't even know what it is. I think it's for like tying down like big loads on like track and trailers or something. Something like common, you know. You know, you know we got a cool full of water a lot of water my nice. undrank coffee um yeah and my little monster energy so we're not sponsored but one day i'm fueled by some days i've been doing good though i'm doing good though they're not good for you nothing special we're not gonna show y'all up front because i didn't organize that for the video yet I'm not gonna lie i just organized back here it was very very but she actually bought this thing for me, like a month ago, and it's very clutch because the seat was just full of stuff. You remember last year, I kept both of my blowers back here, so there was no room for nothing. So down here on the bottom, we just keep extra ratchet straps. Apparently, I got some soup down there. <laughs> you know, but just in case, bro, for real, might as well get some toilet pipe in there too. But all right, flashlight. Uh, we got weed pulling tools, pliers, you know, the steel tools. Hello, safety glasses, wire cutters, a bunch of gloves. So many gloves. Some knee pads. <laughs> uh, air pump that you put in the cigarette lighter. Got a big chain. Tripod that I'm pretty sure broke. The thing broke. I just found out actually just now. Oh, it's not broke. You just got to screw it back on. Got a hard hat because I got a hard hair and I got to protect it sometimes. Hat. I got our axe down there. Hey, cool. All the truck now. Oh, it's a love truck. Either the love truck or the love boat because when you ride it, it just feels like a boat sometimes. <laughs> you know, got some running little track shoes because your feet hurt sometimes when wild popping. Got a, a hatchet axe for bears. Another glove. Uh, mm -hmm. First aid kit, spray paint, string, truck motor oil, mower oil, barn, chain oil, two and one oil. You know, keep all your oils in there. Got my head trimmer oil, grease oil. I gotta fix the speakers. I'm blowing three of them. I need my music now. Alright, now. These, these are little backup stars. If you want for these, you know, this would not be a thing, of course. This is the first. 
backpack blow I ever had. I came from a plug in the wall one to this last shoe. It has helped me immensely. I got my man's brand on there, work life. Just zoom in like that. Gotta shout them out. I am brand good people. Good people. But yeah, this is the BR 430. It's good for light stuff, grass clippings. I mean, we've always brought it on leaf removals just for the helper or whatever, but I mean, like, if you're doing a lot of stuff, I would get a 600, honestly, or up. But if you're trying to, someone say to make and not spend that money for 800, then just get the 600. So we got a combi attachment, a combi attachment. This, this is the brush cutter attachment. I have a couple different heads. This, I've been trying them all out. I like this one the best. The triclone one to come up. You know, this will do some damage for real. Like, we've done clear some stuff with this brush cutter. This is kind of difficult to get in sometimes. But yeah, I recommend this though. Now, which blade? I don't know. That's up to you and what you're cutting, but we're usually in the jungle and in the jungle. So, I mean, it'll cut like, it'll cut some decent So, And I only have the 94, so I couldn't imagine it with the, um, and that actually has a power adjuster where you can turn the power up. But I couldn't imagine on one of the bigger times. This, just bought it. I've only used it for like two minutes. Never used the edger before. I'm trying to, you know, I was just testing around. I think it's so weird for me. I think because it's curved, I need to get the straight shaft one. But honestly, I've just been trying to perfect my flip edging with the weaver. But yeah, I'll give y'all a little review on this one. So I, once I really get the loose in it. Over here, we got the little backup stars to the saw. Steel H's 45. This is my first head trimmer ever. Got this last year. And I upgraded from a battery power. Works. W-O-R-X. I love it, honestly. We don't do enough head trimming or stuff like that to go buy like a a commercial commercial one. We'll get there one day, but people don't understand, dude. Like head trimming is an art for real. Like and I've um, only been doing this a year and four months, and I'm still trying to get it down, but, yeah. It looks very hard. So I need to learn how to sharpen these or get new ones, but always lubricate them. You know, always grease your thing. Honestly, sometimes we don't use this for a couple months. But when we use it, we use it. I recommend that for a homeowner or a small business and this is as small as it gets literally as small as it gets this first chainsaw i ever just got this in november it was actually the first time i've ever ran a chainsaw this is actually a homeowner's edition the ms 170. i like it this is 16 inch bar i mean i've, I've cut some stuff with this for real like i thought I was gonna need a bigger bar for it. But, I mean, it ain't just worth it. Let's go walk over here and see how long I can cover it. Go ahead and show my mess. Excuse our palette. We're trying to do a garden eventually. Yeah, recycle stuff, recycle stuff. All these tarps are just sitting here because if you're done a job, and if it don't, if it rains here, the landfill, we will get stuck in that, like, just ain't no and ifs or buts about it. So, I'll end up dropping it here, wait for it to dry, but then we'll be real busy swimming up sitting. I done cut all these logs with it. I mean, I don't know much about logs, but I mean, I guess they, they some credit decent inside one. I had to teach myself how to soften them. This all from that big clean up job. Now, do y'all do y'all have any like special rules for y'allselves by 
to not bring and like dump stuff in y'all's yards. Like, just say, I'm gonna get oh, some things that we, we tell ourselves we can use one day. And I keep saying that, but I never end up using it. Oh, that's it. Whole lot of orange, whole lot of different colors going on, you know. But we're powered by still, we're powered by John Deere, and we're powered by God. And love. And love. Love Chuck coming to a street near you soon. Two shout outs to my loyal subscribers. I don't have many subscribers. I do have 70. <laughs> But I don't post that much, so it's okay. I understand if I post it more. I just need to get more comfortable with the filming. But shout out to Elite Landscapes. That's my guy. That's If y'all want some knowledge and educational videos, but still chill and really cool videos, good work. He does good work. We actually met one time, because we don't live but too far from each other. I was tight, good dude, good people. Go check out the work. Uh, the dude, Williams Lawn and Cleaning. It's a cool dude. Always shows love. Got some good videos too. He does a lot of tree work. They do it all for real. Pray for you too, bro. I hope you figure everything out. And that's it. I guess I'll see y'all on the next one.